So in Go, you can use functions to call other functions. Um, and I kind of wanted to show that in a, uh, in a fun way. So we're going to make a new file, main.go, and the folder turtles all the way down, and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to start with package main, and we enter our program, uh, main. And main is going to print out a function called Leonardo. to us a string. string. And Leonardo is looking for turtle wax. But he doesn't have the turtle wax. So he calls Donatello. And Donatello doesn't have the turtle wax either. So Donatello, he returns a string. But he needs to call Raphael. And let's see, I think Raphael has a turtle X? No. So Raphael returns a string also, but he needs to call Michelangelo. Michelangelo. It looks so long. You know, when you look at things and words and no matter time, how many times you've seen them, they just don't look right. It just doesn't look right to me. But I think we'll go with it. So, and finally, Michelangelo, he does have the turtle wax. So he's going to return us a string of turtle wax. Proofs in the pudding, right? So let's see it run. Um, in VS Code, you can use Control Backtick, Control Backtick, to open up a console a terminal window. And where are we? We are in Go from the beginning. So we need to get down into Functions. Uh, it's a weird glitch. So in Functions, so now we need to get down to Funk calls Funk and Turtles all the way down. So it turtles all the way down. Go run main.go. And it returns turtle wax, or prints out turtle wax to the terminal. Cool, right? So what is actually happening here? So when our program enters main, that's where all programs in Go start, um, it gets pushed onto the stack. So main. That's a funky looking M, but we'll go with it. Um, so main is now on the stack. And what does main do? Main makes a call to Leonardo. So then Leonardo gets pushed onto the stack. Man, my handwriting. So Leo is now on the stack. Leonardo makes a call to Donatello. So Donatello is now on the stack. Donatello makes a call to Raphael. Now Raphael is on the stack. Michelangelo is next. So Raphael calls Michelangelo. So now we have Michelangelo on the stack too. Mikey. Mikey returns a string of turtle wax. And we'll change colors here just so that it emphasizes what's happening. So then turtle wax gets returned up the call stack. So it gets returned to here, which pops Mikey off the stack. And then Raphael returns that to Donatello, which pops Raphael off the stack, which then returns that string to Leonardo, which pops Donatello off the stack, which returns up to the print line here, which pops Leo off the stack and prints out turtle wax to the terminal. And in this case, there's nothing keeping our program running. So 
main's done, the program exits and prints us turtle wax. Cool, right? I thought that was kind of a fun explanation for what happens when functions call other functions. Um, so you may be thinking, what on earth is a stack? A stack of pancakes? Um, well, that's actually not a bad analogy. So if we look, what is a stack? Um, and you could look this up yourself, but I always enjoy when people read to me. So a stack in computer science, a stack is an abstract data type that serves as a collection of elements with two principal operations, push, push, which adds an element to the collection and pop, which removes the most recently added element that was not yet removed. The order in which elements come off a stack gives rise to its alternative name, L-I-F-O, for last in, first out. Um, we're gonna skip this next part because it just confuses things. But the name stack for this type of structure comes from the analogy to a set of physical items stacked on top of each other, like pancakes, which makes it easy to take an item off the top of the stack, while getting to an item deeper in the stack may require taking off multiple other items first. Cool, right? And we even have some uh, a diagram here that we can draw on. So let's do that. So what actually happens here? So we have our program running at main, and main is on the stack. So main calls Leonardo. So then Leonardo is on the stack. Then we have main and Leonardo here. Leonardo makes the call to Donatello. So again, we're building our stack here. So main and Leonardo and Donatello. All of those are being pushed onto the stack. I believe Donatello makes a call to Raphael. So then we've got main, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael on the stack. And Raph finally calls Michelangelo, who has been hoarding the turtle wax for himself. We'll call that MI. So then these guys are all on the stack. Um, and this one doesn't count here because we're not using that. But So we have Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, Leonardo, and Maine. And then what happens? It draws everything off back off the stack. Um, we're not going to use this one because we're not using that. Um, so then Michelangelo comes off the stack and returns his string of turtle wax on up to who's next? Raphael, Donatello, Leonardo, and Maine. So then Raphael returns his string of turtle wax on up to Michelangelo. Or, no, excuse me, to Donatello. And then Leonardo and Maine. And finally, Raphael. Donatello returns his string to Leonardo. We still have. So now we've only got Donatello, Leonardo, and Maine left. Donatello is gone. Leonardo. And then pops off the stack, and Maine program exits. I think that was a little bit long. Maybe we'll cut this video short, but I'll think about it. Oh, one more thing I wanted to explain. Um, turtles all the way down. It's kind of a joke. Um, turtles all the way down is a jocular expression of the infinite regress problem in cosmology posed by the unmoved mover paradox. The metaphor in the anecdote represents a popular notion of the theory that the earth is actually flat and is supported on the back of a world turtle which itself is propped up by a chain of larger and larger turtles questioning what the final turtle might be standing on. The anecdote humorously concludes that it is turtles all the way down. So if you've ever heard of that expression, that's where that comes from. Cool, right? I thought that was a fun explanation.